So first, I just wanna say that I got this recipe from Managing the Maze, and she did a whole video on a bunch of dump and go crock pot meals. And today I just want to give this one a try and see what I think, but want to give credit where credit is due. To get started, I have sliced mushrooms, some beef broth, cream of mushroom soup. I have three cans. You only need two. The reason I have three is because she uses a packet of onion soup mix, but the only thing they had in the store was this beefy onion. I'm not really crazy about that. She used the onion mushroom and that's really what I would have preferred. So I'm probably just going to use part of that packet and I might add some extra cream of mushroom soup, which is why I have three here. We also need two packets of brown gravy mix. A bunch of sliced onions. These are from my garden. I'm so excited. And of course, the star of the show, the cubed steak. So let's get our mixture going together first, and then we will get this going in the crock pot. Super simple. I just wanted to mention that it was serendipitous that I didn't realize it, but I picked up 25% less sodium, which is perfect in a recipe like this because these kinds of recipes can often be overly salty. So I'm really glad that this worked out. I'm visually impaired, so I make a lot of wrong purchases in the store because I can't read a lot of detail, and this just worked out in my favor today. The brown gravy. I'm going to add half of this like I talked about. To this, I'm going to add about a half a cup of beef stock. And then just get this well combined. Now into the bottom of the crock pot, we're starting with a layer of onions. Half of the steaks. I'm just going to season the steak layer. I'm not going to use salt because like I said, we have a lot of salt going on. We can always salt it later if we need to. So I'm just going to add some pepper, some mushroom seasoning. I can link this down below. It is the bomb. A little garlic powder. Onion powder. Just a little bit. We got a lot of onion going on. And I'm going in with some dried parsley. Use whatever seasonings you like. Next layer of onions and some beef broth. And then we are going in with our mixture that we put together, just half of it. Then we are going to put in the remaining cube sticks. I'm gonna season this layer too with the mushroom seasoning. Oh my gosh, speaking of that, I forgot all the mushrooms. That's okay, it doesn't matter. We'll get them in here. They're sitting right in front of me too. The remainder of the onions. This is heavy on onions, put in less if you prefer. And then I forgot to layer the mushrooms, so I'm just going to put all of the mushrooms right on top. And then to finish it, the remainder of our soup and gravy mixture.
and I am not going to waste any of this. You can cook this on low for six hours or high for four. Let's get this going. I have this on high right now. I haven't decided if I'm going to cook it on high for four hours or do a combination of maybe high for two and turn it down. But I will let you know what I did and how it turned out. See you a little later. So to go with our cube steak, I just boiled up some red potatoes. I left the skins on and then mashed them up with some butter, sour cream, heavy whipping cream, and salt and pepper. Super simple. And then for our green vegetable, I just whipped up my super simple go-to weeknight salad with my homemade dressing that starts with fresh lemon juice. I can link that down below. Mm. It's perfect. I was afraid that the beefy flavor was going to be way too much and way too overpowering. I've had that happen with some dishes sometimes when I do stuff like this. Not at all. I think that mushroom, going with the cream of mushroom soup and a little less on the onion soup mix was a great call. I also love the mushroom seasoning that I used. Definitely, definitely recommend that. As I said, I'll link that down below. I got that from Quang Tran, one of my very favorite YouTubers. If you don't know who he is, go follow him, as well as Managin the Maze, M-A-Y apostrophe S. Great inspiration, great recipe. Check out her channel. Also, the salad. I haven't tossed it yet because my family isn't here to eat yet, so I'm not going to do that. The dressing is on the bottom, and I can link this super simple, super delicious salad recipe down below. I just want to say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day, and I can't wait to see you next time.